Okay, so there's a lot of things about circles that you guys know, but there's also some things about circles that you don't know. Um, and it's, it's probably more that you don't know than, than, than you think, okay? Um, so let's just smoke through this real quick. Man, this is um, a piece of cake on some of this stuff. Um, um, now, if we were, if it had everybody here, I'd do an activity with this, but um, probably one of the most important things that, uh, about a circle is you just realize what, what, the, um, what the definition is. A circle is points. It's a bunch of points. And what's special about all the points, they're all the same distance from a center point. Okay? So, like, say, for example, if I would take a stake, put it in my yard, and tether my dog to it, well, the farthest the dog could go would be in the shape of a circle, because every point he could stop and pee at the farthest point out would be a circle. Okay? All the points would be as far, the same distance away, so that is a circle. Okay? Um, other stuff, radius or radii, goes from the center to the outside. A chord is a segment with endpoints on the circle. Okay? So a chord, like AB is a chord, CF is not a chord, but is DE a chord? It is a chord. It is just so happens to be the longest chord possible in the circle, but it is a chord. Okay? The diameter is a chord that passes through the center. Okay? Made up of collinear radii. Okay? So I think that on the most part is going to be pretty important or pretty straightforward. Um, really complicated definitions here. Oh my gosh, look at this. The diameter, the diameter is twice the radius. Okay, I'll just let you soak that in. Okay. What? Yeah, the diameter is twice the radius. Okay, because it takes a radius and another radius to make a diameter, so two times two, going backwards, the radius is half the diameter. Okay. Um, now, but as far as pairs of circles go, and there's all these different types of circles we could have in comparison with them. Okay. Um, two circles are congruent if they have the same radius. Okay. Um, that's all we need is just the radius, okay? Um, all circles are similar. Uh, it's kind of kind of silly to talk about similar circles. They're all similar. Um, concentric circles break up the word co, together, center. They share the same center. Together they have the same center. So these two circles are concentric, okay? Um, so um, when circles relate to each other, we can have all these different types of situations. They could have two points of intersection. They could have one point of intersection. And these one point of intersection, those are called tangent. We'll be dealing with that, with that here real quickly. Um, and then no points of intersection. It's like kind of duh. Okay. Um, circumference. We'll do an activity on, on this here real, uh, at some point, but not today since so many people are gone. Circumference is pi times diameter. Okay. And pi times diameter. Very straightforward. Um, two pi r. Okay. I remember once my brother and I we got in an argument about that. He's like, "It's pi times diameter." I'm like, "No, it's two pi r. You, you you're wrong." He goes, "No, it's pi times diameter. I'm pretty sure." I'm like, "No, no, no. I'm certain it's two pi r." Well, we were both right. Okay. So then we weren't the smartest people there. But anyway. Um, <coughs> So, um, to find, you know, you need to be able to use these formulas to, to find different parts. And I think that one is really going to be pretty straightforward for you. So your circumference is 106.4, plug that in, divide by pi, and then you, you'll have your diameter, okay? <coughs> and then half that's my radius. Not a big deal. But another piece of terminology, inscribed and circumscribed, okay? Uh, I said circumscribed, okay? Um, inscribed. A polygon is inscribed inside the circle. So inscribed means inside. The polygon is inscribed. Okay? Um, so what that means is every single vertex of the polygon is a point on the circle. It's snowing. Gotcha. Okay? Those that aren't here. It's not snowing. But. Hannah looked. Okay. Good job, Hannah. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, <coughs> so, okay. A polygon is inscribed in a circle if all of the vertices lie in the circle. A circle is circumscribed about a polygon if it contains all the vertices of the polygon. Okay? So the polygon is circumscribed in, the circle is circumscribed about, circumscribed on the outside. Okay? <coughs> so, terminology I don't really think is that bad. Uh, you also had some problems to do. What problems were they? One through six? Okay. Okay, so let's do this verbally. Um, <laughs> one, name the circle. N, yeah. I thought maybe some people come from like Bob. Okay, Ricky. Okay, Consuela. Um, anyway, identify each. Give me a chord. EF. Segment EF. Give me another chord. DF. The diameter is DF, a radius, there's lots of them. NC, ND, NE, or NF, all of them. Segments. If CN is 8 centimeters, find DN. Hmm. Let's see. I think it's 8 also, isn't it? Okay, you can see why I just asked you to do this without just without me lecturing about it. EN is 13. Diameter is 26. Okay. Now on these on 5 and 6, now you gotta think of a little bit more. Okay. Uh, five, did you get 14? And then six, five? Okay. So on these, label, 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 label. Okay. Redraw everything and label all your parts and pieces. Okay. Um, and then I think you can probably do that fairly well. Um, 10 through 21. I'll just go ahead and smoke these a little quickly. Uh, 10 is R. 11 is SU, segment SU. 12, nope, it's a chord. Okay, 13, 8.1 centimeters. 14, segment DE or segment AE. Okay, um, 15 is 28 inches. 16, yes, they are both radii. Oops, so 17 is 3.7 centimeters. Are you acing this so far? Okay, and then we're finishing this up. Um, 18 through 21, uh, 2.6, 14.6, 12.6, and 30.6. Okay, would you like me to work through any of those? All right. Well, okay. A couple things, I'm, I'm just going to ask you guys to truck through the rest of this section there. Okay. But if I take a look at some of these, um, like say this one, oh my goodness. If you want to find the, um, the exact circumference, so your answer is going to be in terms of pi. So here I've, I don't have a radius. How am I going to find a radius? On 28, Pythagorean theorem. Same thing with 29, Pythagorean theorem. Same thing with 30, 20, Pythagorean theorem. 31, Pythagorean theorem. Okay. 32, that's pretty straightforward. 33. So I think you guys will be pretty good, pretty, pretty good with this stuff. I'm just, I, I'm not going to sit here and insult you and do a lot of examples on how to find circumference in a circle. Okay. Let's just get through the section, lay the groundwork for success in, in future sections, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to give you guys a bunch of time to work. I would help you if you wouldn't have made me mad yesterday. So today, you can even work with somebody. I'll get some good music on, and we'll go from there. Page 702, 22 through, okay. Um, let's just, oh, you can't see it? You guys want to see what I'm writing. You're so high maintenance. Um, <clears throat> 44. You guys can get started while I think about this a little bit more.
it's got over half an hour to work. Okay, so 53 is a challenge problem. We'll give that a shot.